If you found your way to this video, you've either purchased one of our dropper bottle transfer kits, or you're interested in how to decant your paint pots into dropper bottles. Before we get into the tutorial, I'd like to quickly touch on what comes in a kit. Each one of our kits comes with 25 dropper bottles, along with suitable tips for dropping paint and caps, which are all manufactured here in the United States. One funnel, an airflow spacer, and a bottle of our paint thinning medium. Some kits also include either 25 rust-proof paint agitators or 25 glass agitators. All right, with that out of the way, let's get into it. Set up your bottle like this, with the airflow spacer over the opening of the bottle and with the funnel on top. You're going to want to make sure that the paint pot you'll be decanting has been shaken extremely well. If you're a bit clumsy, you may want to use a little bit of poster tack on the bottom of the bottle in order to make sure you don't accidentally knock it over. Then, simply pour your paint pot into the funnel. While you're waiting for the paint to move through the funnel, grab your paint thinning medium. If this has been sitting for a while, you're going to want to give it a good shake until you hear the agitator begin moving around, then shake it for about 10 more seconds. The amount of thinning medium that you'll need to use will be dependent on the viscosity of your paint, but somewhere around 15 drops for a full pot of paint is a good place to start. Then close the cap and give it a good shake. When you feel that you've mixed the thinning medium well enough into the remainder of the paint, you can pour the rest into the funnel. If you find that there's still a reasonable amount of paint left inside of the pot, you can use something like a popsicle stick, coffee stir, or even a paintbrush to extract the remaining paint. With a little bit of patience, you can get most of the paint into the funnel. When you're pleased with the amount of paint that you've been able to extract, set the airflow adapter and funnel aside. Then insert the dropper tip so that it snaps and screw on the cap tightly. A quick rinse under the faucet will remove remaining paint from the funnel and make it ready for use again. If you want to keep the paint label, you can simply peel it off and restick it to the dropper bottle. And that's it, you're done. I hope this video was informative, and if you're interested in purchasing one of our dropper bottle transfer kits, there will be a link in the video description.